Hey, you guys. Good morning. I'm on my way to work. There's something else I meant to mention. I forgot. I know what I wanted once to say about the world that we live in. And this has always been the world. When there are ongoing issues that have been going on because there has, nothing's been done about it. There's been, there's been no change on it. Like the school shootings and things like that. We've had multiple school shootings because nothing has been done about it. But that's where things have to happen for people to be like, okay, enough is enough. We got to figure it. But why does it have to happen so many times to get to, a point, to get to that point of enough is enough? We have to do something and figure something out. You know, and I feel like that's what's going to happen. How many women who become pregnant have to die before people realize, oh, we made a mistake, we fucked up. That's what's going to have to happen. That's, I mean, we, that's not what we always, we always lived in that world where multiple deaths, casualties, you know what I'm saying? So a human sacrifice has to happen for people to kind of get on board. See, I was like, oh, okay, now I see what, what's going on. Now I see, now I understand. But while bodies always have to take someone to die, the people are sitting there, it's like the world has always been like that. People are sitting here telling you, and when I want to hear, oh, that's not what's going to happen, da da da. It, it makes no sense. The same with school shootings. We still have any school shootings, and and things like that because nothing like well, clearly there's no change being done to stop to stop it to, to, or at least reduce it to what's not happening as much I haven't, I haven't heard anything recently or lately but i mean come on you know because i feel like because some of the majority of the time the shooter is a student that goes there that's what you, you will have like a, a grown adult that goes to school for, you know, for, you know to a school and things like that, but majority of the time it, it, it's that student. Like, why not do mental health assessments like every year? Even in elementary school, because these kids, um, <clears throat> if they're smart enough to know how to work a gun, especially these kids nowadays, if they're smart enough to know how to work a gun and maneuver it, you know what I'm saying? Because shoes are happening in elementary school. Elementary school kids know how to find, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, parents' gun, they know how to pick it up and things like that. They might not know how to use it, but don't, I won't say they don't know how to use it, but. Cause we seen, I've seen a Law and Order episode, and it was acting, but that child held that gun. That child had to be probably about eight years old. So it was second grade. You know, don't think somebody in school wouldn't know how to, wouldn't know how to hold a gun. Mm -hmm. Don't think that for a second. You know, um, you know, so do I feel like, especially in high school and middle school, every year mental health assessment, mental health assessment should be done. Because you'll be a surprise. Because a person might not come out right, but things that they respond to in the questions or like, like there should be a thing where you say, okay, draw something. Because I tell them, someone draw something, draw how you feel or draw, you know, you see it. You'll see in their drawing. You know, you watching them do the episodes where that, that, that child was drawing. You ever say, hey, draw whatever you want to draw. You got to tell them, you just say, draw whatever you want to draw. And do some art. And you see the kids' art, what they're drawing. And lots of people don't pay no mind to it. Or I don't know how the teachers don't notice it. Like, when you tell a child to draw, so how do you, you don't notice what that child drew in that paper? So if my child turns my art and I look at it, I'm, I'm going straight to my principal. And I'm calling, I'm calling the parent as I'm going to the principal's office. Like, <clears throat> You gotta stop letting things fall to the cracks. And things like that. Cause, it, Cause that's how these things are happening. And stuff like that. But some you know what I'm saying? Why are mental health systems not done on kids? Every year one should be done before they start the school system. Before they start the school year. That should be a requirement, a requirement in that paperwork. That this has to be done. And we're gonna go through and, and, we, if, if, and if everything seems good, we don't see anything that alarms us the words, okay, that child can attend. But if you see something alarms, your child might not be attending. Or these are things that have to be done for him to be able to attend the school year. So it's something that needs to be done like two months before, probably. You know? Don't know what else to say.
you know, some some got some got to change. As Americans, we gotta do better. When we see things going on, we have to, you know, what I'm saying we got we got to change it. We can't sit there and be in denial. I said it before, before, and I was related to people. It's not just people. It also relies to situations where something is shown to you, you see something and it's exposed to you. Accept it for for it. Is. Just like my person reveals himself. Accept them for who they are. Accept the situation for what it is. It's sitting right there in your face. That person's not lying or making it up. You know. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people need need your help in fighting for them. <clears throat> and we're not doing that. You know. It has to take multiple people, pregnant women, human casualties. It's always all it it always it's always human casualties that it has to happen for America to wake the fuck up. And do some shit about it. I, t I, t I did a thing about focusing. I wish I thought about the election when I did, when I did the record. I'm posting today because I have did it a while back. And I wish I thought about that. So I might have a part three on uh, focus because I had two parts now, but I might have part three because people are not focused on the right thing. They were focusing on who you know who you know who the people were. They were focused on the issues and the agenda, and and it also came out to the fact that no, there were some people who did not sit there and vote. Which tells me you didn't win neither one to win, but eventually you're not voting, it's not gonna stop. So somebody's gonna win. So, so you have to, you should look there and say, okay, if you know for a fact you definitely don't want Trump to sit there and have it, that's like the lesser of two evils. You know what I'm saying? If I had to sit there and choose, it wouldn't be Trump. Now, I'm not gonna sit there and let this man, you know, because there, there was like there were a lot of people who did not cut my two vote. Because they probably didn't need, want either one, but who do you? But then, but never that to who do I really, really, really don't want in there, and then don't vote for that person. But it said not vote at all, and your rest of that's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. I was like, something's off. I never. I'm like, something's off. I find it hard to believe that couples, you know, and husbands, you gonna sit here and vote on something that puts your girlfriend or your wife or your future. You no know, wife, the future mother of your children in jeopardy. Cause when she dies, I'm not about to sit here and no pity. Cause I didn't vote for it, you did. I'm not gonna have no pity for you in this world. Not one ounce of pity. We see him boohoo crying and stuff like that. This could have been a war there, you know. So people that did. But well, how did you vote? How did you vote? Where were you when the vote was going on? Why didn't you have this conversation with your friends? I I, I came across someone on Instagram um yesterday. Where a, a girl called up for went to her fiance because he voted for Trump, and the first thing that popped in my head was like, you know, when you were talking or dating him, isn't wasn't that shouldn't you've had, had had a conversation about politics and your stance on things and what you believe in before you even got that far? And that's the that, that's one of my main issues about people in relationships. Like people don't take time to talk to me. You know, people, everybody's rushing. In order to know someone, know that person for you, you gotta have conversations. There are certain conversations that you gotta have. You gotta have a conversation about race. Cause you wanna know, cause you don't wanna be shy. You don't wanna, you don't wanna sit here and when you find out about how that person is about, about black people, how to treat black people is when you out and about and now you, you call up in his shit. You know, had a good time also and you hear him spewing some fucked up shit. It's like, and, and that's not who you are. You don't wanna find, you, you married to, you, you find out after you married to the motherfucker. No. Go, go out, go out and about. Go a place that you know it's mixed, it's diverse, and see how he how he responds. Hey, let's go here. Cause most people they know where it's diverse at, and their type of person they want they not you know they gonna know. Okay, hey, let's go here. Get, get him around and see how he responds. Ask when he's around, you know. Like, you know, to have a conversation when you went in, not on the first day, because it ain't gonna be a little too deep, but then when you start to realize that I think I can see myself with this person, that's when you bring that shit up. So, and like, hey, look, I be honest, I don't, I don't want you to, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, I, this is just something I'm gonna talk about. I don't, I don't want you to get scared right away, or, you know what I'm saying? I'm just asking the question. I'm just trying, you know what I'm saying? Because I really like you and I can see myself with you, but there's something I just need to know. It ain't that fucking hard. You got people ending, uh, uh, Engagements and weddings and stuff because of that. And then when I went to the comments, there was a couple of women who, women who said a couple of years ago when he first had run, they did the same thing. When they found out that their their, their person that was getting married had voted opposite of them, because when, especially because of the voting, y'all need to be on the same page. Because y'all gonna be a household, and y'all have to be together on the same thing. 
But as far as when it comes to someone's body and things like that, there's no way. It's not your not your body. But that's why conversation, conversation should be had on where you are. Do you want to have kids? Right now? Let's make sure we're on the same page. I'm not saying I don't ever want to have kids, but right now, that's how I am. So let's make a, a plan to decide when that we're, where we like compromise, where we both be okay when we want to start having kids. You know what I mean? And then, you know, like that, but you got to talk. People so quick about rush out and better fucking holler each other's name and not take time to get to know one another. And that's where we got so many more shit going on. Take time to get to know people. Because that's something you should know about before you before you don't agree to marry somebody, you don't know where their stance is on politics. You don't agree to know marry somebody, you don't know how they are when they, how they are with other races, especially black people. Ain't about who's not your, your color, Hispanic, Asians, uh Samoans, all that. Island Pacific, all that. You know what I'm saying? Know how they are about other people in other countries and cultures and shit. Because you don't want to be caught up in some bullshit. And because the fact that you're married to them, immediately people are going to sit there and say, well, she 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 must and she she, she must feel the same way the same way because she's married to him. I've heard that. Well, that she, well, they're married. He has a wife. And if, she, if she's married, there's no way she didn't know he was like this. There's no way. You hear it all the time. Take time to get to know people and talk to people. But we got to change. We got to change how we do things. I'm 40 years old and, and, and not married, no children or virgin. Not because... You know what I'm saying? I chose it. not because no I couldn't find you know no man approaches me or attracted me. It's because of the fact that men don't want to take, take the time and put in the work and the effort nowadays in this world to get to know someone and talk to that person and take that time. No, for you to really know someone, you gotta talk to them. You can't put your dick in someone and all this information about me comes out of me and goes through your dick. That ain't how that shit works. You have to talk to me. I've been in relationships, but I'm not about to sit here and fuck you. You're not where I need you to be. The person that God has to me, he's going to be already there. You know what I'm saying? As far as the main stuff that's what they need. <clears throat> you know. Um, you know, but we, we got to do better. We can't keep bringing these kids to this world and you're not with the person you're supposed to be with. We got to we gotta sit there and have more self-esteem. We got to have, you know what I'm saying? We got to know our value and our worth. We got to think more highly of each other. We got to think more highly of each other. You know, I, I don't know what else to say or do. You know, we got to do better. Yeah, that's why men are approaching us the way they're approaching us because they're used to, they, they approach multiple women like that and they've gotten that result with that girl was quickly because she has no, she doesn't know her self-worth. She doesn't respect herself. She has low self-esteem. It's like, and it's been hard for a good, strong woman out here, strong, educated woman who respect themselves, Christian woman. It makes it hard. But this is the world that we live in. And does tie into the voting. You know. Think about what, what, what you want. What you're looking for. And then which candidate, candidate is for that. She was the best qualified candidate. Everything that she said she was going to do. You knew she was going to stick by words and do it. You, Trump is not going to stick by his word. And I pray and hope that he does. You went to your close to election. Now you won't be like. Oh I'm not going to do this. You wasn't for it then. Originally. To the presidential campaign, I don't know what the fuck was what, what happened, but you know what I'm saying that changed his thought. And if he, if, he, if he really did change that thought and he was sincere about it, then we'll see we'll see sometime next year. Rule the abortion ban, reverse road, uh, rovers were back to how it was. Let's get things back. It's our choice. Well, I'm gonna burn up in this damn car. I come up there and just fall my car. Um, whew. let's get that back. Um. I had to roll in less than five, you know, but and that's all I had to say on that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm just, I, you know, like, what is wrong with people? It's, this is serious. Because this affects, this determines how the world's going to be for the next four years. And people are either not taking it seriously, taking it as a joke. Like, when he ran the first time, my mom was, was an Uber driver. She was telling me, like, people were showing up. How, how the fuck you show up to the election? The, the actual election is on a Tuesday. How the fuck you show up drunk and take it seriously when... It's a weekday, so don't you, wouldn't you have worked that day or had to go to work that Like, what the fuck? But these were young college students and stuff like this. So when you're in college, you don't you know, but still. Like, where are the parents at? Like, clearly the parents that I had a conversation said, hey, this is not something to fucking joke with. And then when shit is happening and going on, y'all mad. All this, but but y'all thought it was a joke. Y'all didn't take it seriously. This is not a joke, but you gotta take it seriously. We gotta pray hard as hell for the next four damn years. And hope 
that he does what he, what he said he was going to do to get the fucking vote. So I'm praying for everybody. Um, God bless y'all. And this is Alicia with the Real Talk with Alicia podcast signing off. God bless.